Hello YouTube. I thought we'd do a quick video here. I'm going to be doing a distance test using the handheld and the amplifier. So I want to explain this setup so everybody knows what I have here. I have a the Redivis high gain, I think it's model M006 bass slash repeater antenna. It does 6 dBi gain. I did raise my antenna from my previous videos from the bottom of the antenna to the ground, it's about 30 feet. I'm using a stock Redivis RT97 GMRS repeater. The repeater itself puts out 6 point like 20 watts, but at the end of the coax, I only get about 4.20 watts. So, like I said, I'm gonna say that one more time. I'm only feeding in 4.21 watts into the antenna. I met, I'm using LMR 400 cable, and so that's where I'm getting out. So I'm only putting out, a, this repeater's only putting out about four watts. By the time it goes through the cable, four watts. Um, also, this is this repeater setup is in a very bad location. I'm in a hole, I'm in a valley, so I wanted you to be aware of that, uh, just to explain that. Um, let's go inside and look at how we're going to do this. So what we're going to do is we got a simplex repeater set up. It's going to record my voice and play it back. And I'll drive to a location um, and we'll do a test and then we'll see how well it works. So what I have, I have the famous ball fang that I try to burn up, um, which <laughs> still works great. I have the bell fang hooked up to the computer with running the uh, re repeater software, the simplex repeater in, in the repeater uh, simplex mode. And that handheld is programmed to the GMRS repeater, which is right here. Let me turn this on. Nothing else. Stock repeater. So that's how I'm able to connect. Um, which is kind of good to know if you have a if you have the Redivis RT97 model that does not have the DB9 connector, which mine does not. I did not know they had that model available when I bought this one. You can still connect this to a computer and to the internet by using another radio and have a program to the repeater frequency. So that's one way around that. So that's what we're doing here. So the signal will come in from the repeater. This will record it and play it back. So that's how we got that set up. Now I'm going to put you on pause. I'll take you to the car setup and show you what we got there. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I have here is I bought a made amount antenna, the cheapest one I could find online. It's pre tuned. This is the antenna that it came with. Well, I didn't like it, it was like SWRF2. Maybe on the VHF bands it's better. I don't know. So I unscrewed it. I found what thread it was. I made my own adjustable. There's a little thumb uh, screw there that I can, uh, you know, use my my fingers to adjust it. So I adjusted it for the best SWRs. I get about 1.4. So that's what we had to do on that. Let me take you inside the vehicle. I'll put you on pause. Okay. So now inside I have the Redivis RT85 handheld hooked up to the Redivis RT91 amplifier. I did a video on that. I have my watt meter and it's an SWR meter hooked up. Um, yes, this does read accurately for SWRs on higher wattage, it seems like. I compared it to my other meter just to let you know that. I get about 1.4 SWR with my modified antenna and I get about 26 to 27 watts coming out of here. Okay? So, that's one thing I, I wanted you to be aware of. The other thing I want to mention, too, that I found out is I was going to run a splitter. And what I mean by a splitter is a cigarette lighter splitter. Okay? But when I do that, the, the wire gauge on here is not very heavy. And it actually made me lose a watt or two on my amplifier. So I end up plugging, up, plugging the amplifier direct into the cigarette lighter down below. So keep that in mind. Um, if you're losing wattage, if you're running a splitter of some sort, maybe take that out and see if your wattage goes up. So um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. 
We got it. We'll get it. We got like about a 1.4 uh, SWR. 1.4, 1.49, somewhere around there. It kind of fluctuates, but it's. it's it's 1.5 or below, it's, it's, it's acceptable. I might be able to fine-tune it better, but it's too cold, and I've already monkeyed around with this for a couple hours, so I think we're going to leave it as it is. Um, like I say, between 26 to 27 watts output from the amplifier, uh, and like I said, I have a Redivus RT85 handheld. That handheld puts out about 5.18 watts. That's what's feeding in the amplifier. So that's how we're going to do this. So I think I covered everything. I'm going to put you on pause, and we're going to go to a location. And what I'm going to do, and I'm actually going to do this more accurately, I have my iPad, and I saved the repeater location. I saved it. I put a pin on it, they call it, on Google Maps. So now when I drive to wherever we go, I can do, measure in real time and tell you exactly how many miles I am from the repeater. So that's what, how we're going to be doing that with the iPad. Okay? So I'm going to put you on hold, and we're gonna, I'm going to drive out to the first location, and I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube. We are at... Uh, the first location, and we're about 3.19 uh, miles away as the crow flies. Um, also, too, I'd like to mention, obviously, it's winter time. There's no leaves, um, so that's going to have effect. Um, and also, too, uh, the antenna that I bought, even though I, I made my own, the antenna that I bought did not say how many db gain it has so i do not know uh it does not say in the specs just to make that clear now i took that off as you saw in the beginning of the video and i put mine on there because i got better swrs on mine so we're going to try this now and we're going to see how this sounds so we're going to do a radio check radio check one two three four four three two one And that is uh, SWR of 1.5, 27.8 watts. The car is running because, as I you know said, this amplifier does take a lot of a lot of current. So you got I'm leaving the car run. Um, so we'll do one more check here. Radio check one two three four four three two one. doesn't sound too bad so is the amplifier helping or not well let's find out I do have a handheld here we'll take the antenna off and we'll hook the outside antenna onto here and see if I can hit the repeater so I'm gonna put you on pause and I'll be right back okay as you can see I unhooked the antenna we got it hooked up to the Redivus RT85 handheld that's on high power Let's see if we can key this up and let's see if we can hear if I can hit the repeater or not. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. It's like I'm not even hitting the repeater at all. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Radio check. Radio check. So obviously the amplifier is helping. Again, we're 3.1, according to my tablet, we're 3.19 uh, miles away as the crow flies to the repeater. And I cannot hit the repeater on the handheld. So obviously that amplifier is giving me more um, power to be able to hit the repeater. I'm going to put you on pause. We're going to hook the amplifier back up. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We hooked up the antenna back to the uh, a handheld and, a, and the amplifier. Um, we're going to do another radio check with the same location, which is uh, 3.19 3 3 miles away as the crow flies to the repeater. 
Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And again, 1.55 for SWR, 27.7 watts. Um, and it's sounding pretty good, actually. You know, what's it's kind of funny is this is the second video I did. The first video I did, I used the antenna that came with the, the, the antenna that I bought that came on the um, main mount. And I think my antenna actually is sounding better than the one that came with it. Um, and, and this antenna that came with it, just to let you know, was $21, whatever. Um, it's a dual band. It did come with the main mount and the coax. It came with an adapter that you can hook it to your handheld. Um, the frequencies that it can do is uh, VHF, which is uh, frequencies, if I remember right, 136 to 174. And it can do UHF uh, 400 to 520. Um, I had pretty high, asked almost two. Uh, and no matter where I moved it on the car, um, I do have a sunroof, if you remember that part of the video. Maybe that's interfering with it. I don't know. But um, I did move the antenna on my roof to try to get better reception. I could not get better. I could not get my, I shouldn't say reception. I couldn't get better SWR reading. Um, so I end up making my own that I could adjust. The antenna is comes pre-tuned. You may, you know, maybe you could cut it. I don't know. I didn't want to cut it, so I just made my own. Um, not very, you know, really easy to do. Find out what threads that the antenna is, and um, you know, go ahead and uh, I'll maybe I'll do another video up close so you guys can see how I did it. But I have a thumb, a thumb bolt on there, so that I can just I don't need tools to to raise the antenna up and down. So, um, but that's how I did that, and uh, I got like I said down to one point. I might be able to get a little bit better. But it's so cold out, I, I just don't want to, you know, it's, maybe this summer I'll try to get it better. Um, another thing, too, is this thick block that I use to mount this really works well. This thing does not slide around when I drive and turn corners. So nice, you know, when I made, you know, I did a video on that. But having that thick block really makes a difference. So we'll do one more ch one more test here. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Maybe I'll go down the street a little further. It's sounding really good. Actually, it sounds better with my homemade antenna than the antenna that came with it. Um, I'm going to put you on pause. Maybe we'll go down the street a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, we're at another location. And like I said, I have my iPad is how I'm doing this for the distance. We're at 4.112 miles away from the repeater as the crow flies. Let's see if we can hit the repeater. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. We're getting scratchy, but I can I can make it out. We're still at about 1.56 for SWR. 27.8 it looks like for wattage out. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Radio check. And I don't know if you guys can really hear that. I mean, I'm really scratchy. Um, this is really getting pretty good. Um, you know, if you can see in the in the picture here, I've got I got bluffs. I mean, I'm in my repeater's in a horrible, horrible location, and I know I'm going to get a thousand comments. Oh yeah, I can get 30 miles with my repeater. Well, yeah, maybe you can if you're you know got an open area or something. But this is really good for my setup. Like I said, you can see the bluffs in the background here. My repeater's that way. Um, so my car is not facing the repeater. To you know, just to let you know that. It's like I said, it's that way, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm hitting it. I mean, I'm four. What did I say? Four point twelve miles away, which is really good. Um, you know, 
it just uh, like I said, this is this is really good for the location that I'm in. Uh, like I said, the repeater's down in the valley. I'm only getting four watts going to the antenna. Um, yes, there's no leaves, as you can see on the trees, so that, that's that's going to help a little bit. But I uh, hope this kind of gives you an idea. I'm not even going to try to hook up the handheld. I couldn't get the handheld to work at the last location using the external antenna. I'm not even going to bother it here. So this Empire does obviously does give me more distance. So at any rate, I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day. Well, I was going to stop the video there, but I decided to drive a little bit further. And uh, now I am 5.05 miles away as the crow flies. Let's do a radio check one more time. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. So actually, it's sounding pretty good. I, I guess I could have kept going. I did go down the street further, but the problem is, um, I there's no the next side street or the next county road. If I drive to that one, then I can't hit the repeater, and I don't want to pull over on the main on the main road here, and you know, because I don't want to do that. So. This is about the far as I can go. I can probably go in between here and there, maybe get another few blocks. But this this is sounding really good at five. What did I say it was five point zero five five miles away as the crow flies to my repeater. You can see the hill there. Let's try it again. Radio check one two three four four three two one. I mean, it's staticky, but I can make it out. I don't. I don't know how it's coming across the microphone on, on here, but I can make it out really well. So I, I could probably go maybe five and a half miles, maybe. Like I say, I don't want to pull over on the side of the road there. I like going to the. I like turning off the, to the side streets when I do my distance, so I'm not, you know, uh, by the main traffic. And um, like I said, the next side street, I, I, it's, I can't. I hit the repeater, but there's no sound. So, yeah, I, so I'd say about five, maybe five and a half miles, um, which is really good considering, you know, if I could show you my terrain in the video here, and you can kind of see it. I got hills and I got bluffs, and you can't see the bluffs, but there's a hill here. Um, the repeater is that way, but uh, we'll do one more time. Radio check, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. God, it's sounding really good, and, and I'm using a homemade antenna. I, I guess what I should do is maybe I should slap on the, you know what, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll slap on this one. Let's see, let's slap on this, this one that I bought that came with it. Maybe I'll quickly do that. Yeah, hold on. I'm, I'm going to put you on pause. Well, um, my SWRs are 1.97. I'm putting out 23 watts, I think it said. I took off my homemade one that had lower SWRs, and I'm still still sounding pretty good. Be, you know, radio check one two three four four three two one. So yeah, it's still sounding real good. I don't I don't like being SWRs being above 1.5, but it's 1.98 and looks like 25 watts output. We'll do it one more time. Radio check one two three four four three two one. Yeah, one two three four four three two one. So I don't know. I don't. I'd have to play the video back, but I don't know if I hear much difference in and the reception with the different antennas but there you have it so there we're going to leave it at this this time this is it we're done with this particular video i hope at any rate thanks for watching uh and subscribe down below and you have a good day bye bye